Good day, graduates. Today we are looking at an interview as a comprehension. Today's work will be found in your textbook English for Success on page 95 to 96, an African with a message. Please do this in your language section. Interviewer, and how are you and your organizations going to reach out to the students both in South Africa and further afield on that continent? Seaswear, while well, we've committed to mobilizing our various networks, that's in the Grow to Lead programs, making sure that all the school age learners hear the message of the Global Truth Campaign. And within my African Student Leadership Networks, I'm committed to ensuring that the message is sent out. Interviewer. And you think they'll join you? Sizwe, I do. I don't see why not, in fact. And as I say, I think young students are looking at the world and asking a lot of questions. Questions about the economy, about global security, and also prepared to provide answers and not shy away from saying what they believe in peace and striving for it. So when I go back, I'm committed to mobilizing about that concept. Interviewer. Jeremy mentioned earlier the idea of students leading the way and governments following. What are your feelings about that? Seizwe. Absolutely. I think we're seeing more and more that citizens, particularly in this global information age, have more power than they've ever had before. And I think that what's really interesting about peace one day is that it's inspiring transnational action and a group of people around the world is more powerful than any one sovereign state within its territory. I think we need to leverage the power of transnational movements to effect change within national boundaries and borders. Okay, grade eight, here are the questions. I will quickly read them to you. Five, what does Siswe aim to do with his organizations? Six, what is Seasway committed to doing? 7. What questions does Seasway say young people are asking? 8. Do you think that Seasway's responses are based on facts and opinion, or opinion alone? Explain your answer. Number 9. Do you think that Seasway's point of view is hopeful? Explain. 10. Do you agree with his point of view? Do you think everyone who reads this interview will? 11. Reference is made to Jeremy in the interview. Jeremy Gilly is the founder of the Peace One Day organization. Why would the interviewer and Cesare know who is being referred to just from his first name? 12. How do we know that Cesare has already worked to create change in South Africa? Right, grade eights, please remember to submit this on Google Classroom before 5 today. I will also make sure that the PowerPoints are posted on Google Classroom for you. Hope you had fun. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.